In 2014, the U.S. Army expressed a serious wish to abandon the use of A-10 attack aircraft to reduce costs and direct them to other needs. However, as a result of discussions, it was decided to continue operating these aircraft, which were produced with the help of advanced technologies. The planes were modernized, including a new cockpit design, more weapons, and other improvements. Let's take a closer look at how these attack aircraft have become more effective and why Russia should be afraid of their appearance on the territory of Ukraine. By the way, these aircraft may be transferred as part of a new military aid package announced by President Biden during his visit to Kyiv a few weeks ago. In 1976, the American Fairchild Republic A-10 single-seat twin-engine attack aircraft, unofficially nicknamed the Warthog for its distinctive appearance, was put into service. The aircraft is designed for air support of ground troops, destruction of tanks, armored vehicles, and other ground targets. In particular, it can demonstrate excellent maneuverability at low altitudes, be based on unpaved airfields, and have up to 11 combat points. The main standard armament of the aircraft is a specially designed 30mm GAU-8 Avenger aircraft cannon, which is the most powerful in the world. The A-10 was created during the Cold War, when it was assumed that the USSR could launch an offensive in Germany from the German Democratic Republic under its control against the Federal Republic of Germany, and the main battlefield could be the 50-kilometer-long Fulda Corridor, where Soviet armored formations were expected to advance. To successfully stop the offensive, an aircraft was needed that could effectively destroy enemy armored vehicles from the air at low altitudes. After a competition between American companies, the winner was a Fairchild Republic aircraft, which was later nicknamed Thunderbolt II, in honor of the famous P-47 fighter bomber from World War II. In 1991, during the Gulf War, the first combat use of the A-10 took place, and a total of 144 attack aircraft flew about 8,100 missions. During the conflict, these aircraft destroyed more than 1,000 Iraqi tanks, 2,000 other ground vehicles, two helicopters, and more than 1,200 artillery pieces and guns. One of the most successful aircraft in this campaign was the Alligator fighter jet, which destroyed 18 tanks, 10 armored vehicles, and 20 trucks. During Operation Desert Storm, it was discovered that the A-10 was capable of flying even with serious wing damage that would have caused most other models to crash. In addition, the attack aircraft took part in the war in Yugoslavia in 1999 and in the war in Afghanistan since 2001, where they successfully fought against the Taliban. And in Iraq, in March to April 2003, at least 60 fighters were deployed. Recently, the A-10C model has received one of the most extensive upgrades in recent years, with an improved cockpit and a laser targeting system with precision weapons. In 2014, a decision was made to extend the operation of these aircraft until 2035, which led to plans to introduce a number of major innovations to this modification, and by July 2019, part of the A-10 fleet was fully updated to meet new technological standards. The main goal of modernization was to increase the survival of the attack aircraft in difficult conditions, which is achieved in particular by enabling pilots to use precision weapons from long distances and to use new, more effective combat tactics, including using technological advantages over the enemy. Major Matthew Cadding, the A-10 test manager, gave examples of advanced combat tactics that the U.S. Air Force is currently developing to take into account the new capabilities of the aircraft. These techniques are aimed at improving the effectiveness of combat missions at night, at medium, and low altitudes. But work's also underway to adapt the methods of engaging maritime targets with ARG-20 missiles for the A-10C. The conversion of A-10 aircraft to the A-10C model includes improving their ability to operate in difficult conditions with minimal support. The previous version of the A-10 had a serious drawback, cases of friendly fire during its combat use. This was due to the fact that the aircraft had to perform tasks to destroy ground targets near American or Allied infantry and equipment, but during the re-equipment of the A-10C, experts made every effort to avoid such situations in the future. For this purpose, more accurate guidance technologies and a new positioning system were used. Now, air traffic controllers can transmit information about their location in digital format, which allows them to quickly attack aircraft and reduce the likelihood of unintentional damage to enemy positions. By 2017, all aircraft of the series were equipped with the LARS V-12 onboard rescue system, 
which facilitated communication between pilots and rescue teams and pilots of downed aircraft on the ground. In turn, this system allowed receiving real-time updates on the progress of evacuation operations. Thunderbolt pilots can now engage multiple targets at once with different weapons, which greatly simplifies their work. By integrating the AGR-20 APKWS system, Hydra-70 unguided missiles can be converted into precision munitions, while the GPS-based JDAM equipment complex turns freefall bombs into smart munitions that adjust to any weather conditions. When selecting GBU-38 or GBU-31 after targeting, the system automatically predicts whether all the intended targets will be hit at once and notifies the pilot of the calculation results. For Thunderbolt pilots, a new helmet-mounted Hobbit sight has been added, which provides accurate head position detection, allowing pilots to aim more effectively. In addition, the A-10C is equipped with new communication systems that allow for rapid exchange of threat data between all attack aircraft participating in the mission. And it uses GBU-39 SDB Precision Guided Small Diameter Bombs, GPS, and ARC-210 jamming radios. The audio system with 3D sound allows pilots to focus on radio messages separately from other noise sources, which can help reduce pilot workload in combat conditions. Previously, the cockpit of the A-10C had an analog control panel, but now it's been replaced by HRDS, a multifunctional color display with an 11.6-inch diagonal and a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels, which allows for clear targeting images and supports a new mapping engine. One of the modifications of the A-10 attack aircraft is the unmanned version of the A-10 PCAS, developed by Raytheon and Aurora Flight Sciences in the 2000s. Initially, it was planned that this aircraft would have an optional remote control capability, but later this idea was abandoned in favor of an unmanned version that can only be controlled remotely from the base. With the development of IT technologies, it became possible to equip the attack aircraft with an artificial intelligence unit, which allows the vehicle to function automatically, obeying a simple set of standard commands. As a result, it's now the largest and most powerful combat drone in the world, inferior in firepower to its manned older brother, but superior to any other drone. It's an indisputable fact that the A-10 is a serious threat to potential adversaries in the United States and NATO countries. Its main competitor is the Su-25, which is in service with the armies of Russia and the countries that were once part of the USSR. But even after a large-scale modernization of the A-10C modification, the Soviet counterpart lags far behind the Thunderbolt II in most flight characteristics. Now that the Warthog Improvement Project is coming to an end, the new A-10s are far ahead of the Su-25. In fact, the American aircraft is a full-fledged 21st century combat machine, while the Soviet counterpart is stuck in the last century. Although the baptism of fire of the new fully functional Thunderbolt modification has not yet taken place, representatives of the U.S. Air Force assure that the project is being successfully implemented. If this is true, this aircraft will surpass its predecessors in terms of survivability, accuracy, and tactical effectiveness, which means that the seemingly nondescript attack aircraft is turned into a nightmare for the armored vehicles and ground forces of states planning to fight against NATO. Now the A-10 also has drones, which greatly simplify and reduce the cost of solving combat missions that do not require the skill of pilots and risk their lives. We've reached the end of our video. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with news about the most advanced military equipment. We wish you success and a peaceful sky over your head.